I'm alongside Cruz Tangara, New Zealand men's uh, netball skipper. Cruz, we've just seen the Pulse demolish the steal in the end by 20 goals. 57 plays 37. Too big, too fast, too accurate. That was the Pulse pretty much su summarised. Yeah, well, let's talk about the accuracy. Matty Gordon was phenomenal with those feeds. Tiana Maturo was feeding Amelia and Wormsley nicely, but defensively, boy, they were so strong tonight, all throughout the court. Yeah, Kelly Jury was a standout for us. She's just so enormous, but what she does with that huge body is key to what the Pulse do. Also the reach, look at those deflections, 10 from her, 4 intercepts. What she was doing really well was covering that, that vision from the seal, just putting those arms up, and they were playing into her hands, literally. They were feeding the ball right into her hands, creating confusion, but that whole defensive effort was so strong tonight from the home side. Yeah, she picked up more gains than the entire steel side combined. So that just goes to show how effective Kelly Jury was in the defensive end. It's so good to see these Silver Ferns stepping up in a World Cup year cruise. And another one who was stepping up, Maddie Gordon. She started the season on fire. Well, let's talk about her, her defensively. Boy, she's so strong at coming around the body and getting those deflections. Like I said, in the build-up, she's playing in that centre role, so she has more room to really run those lines, create those intercepts, go out hunting. Defensively, she was working really well with her players behind her. But on attack, boy, her vision, her feeds, getting around the body, finding the circle edge, not afraid to feed the ball off the circle edge as well. And that variety in her game is what's setting her apart from other centres at the moment. And she's put, it's putting her in good stead for that Silver Fern selection later this year. Yeah, they work so well together, Maddie Gordon and Whitney Soonis, the Princess of Porirua. As we take a look at the full-time match stats, what catches your eye there, Cruz? Well, if we look at the goal percentage, 90% from all shooters of the Pulse. Also, the games, we spoke about it uh, briefly, but 20 games over the Steel 10, that's a, that's a huge amount of difference between the two sides. And if we look at the shooting stats a little bit closely, as we mentioned, 90% for the Pulse. But Amelia and Worms, only 19 years of age and shooting at 93%. Georgia Heffernan, she did a good effort for her team at 91, but just couldn't convert those turnover balls. We've raved about the pulse. Where to now for the steal? Two heavy defeats. How do they pick themselves up against the Stars on Monday. Yeah, well, they've got the Stars on Monday against the Steel. As you just mentioned, Goran, but the big match for me is against the Tactics and the Mystics down in Christchurch tomorrow. Huge. Sitting second and third at the moment on the ladder. Whoever wins that game will push them into first place. So a big match coming up. Incredible. And you can watch it all on Sky Sport and occasionally on Prime. My thanks to Cruz Tangara. Enjoy your ANZ Premiership action wherever you're picking it up.